Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this lesson for the third intermediate grade. For Super Goal 6, Lesson 2, Grammar, the topic of this uh, 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 lesson is It's a Good Deal, Isn't It? This lesson was prepared by Mr. Abdullah Balbaid and will be presented by me, Hattan Sadiq. It's a good deal, isn't it? Here are the goals of this lesson. Tag questions, negative questions, Confirm information. Describe abilities. Once again, tag questions. Negative questions. Confirm information. Describe abilities. Here uh, uh, is the, the real start of this uh, lesson with uh, warming up. Riyadh is the capital city of Saudi Arabia, isn't it? Jeddah isn't the capital city of Saudi Arabia, is it? In this type of questions, when we have like a, a positive or affirmative sentence, the question must be negative, and when we have negative sentence, the question must be positive or affirmative. Riyadh is the capital of Saudi Arabia. This is affirmative. So the question must be in negative. Riyadh is the capital of Saudi Arabia. Isn't it? But when we are having a negative statement like Jeddah, isn't the capital of Saudi Arabia, then we use is it, which is affirmative. Riyadh is the capital of Saudi Arabia, isn't it? Yes, it is. Jeddah isn't the capital of Saudi Arabia, is it? No, it is not. Tag questions tag questions tag questions are the questions the type of questions we have at the end of a statement either if it is negative or affirmative we use tag questions to check information with an affirmative sentence we use a negative tag with a negative sentence we use an affirmative tag, as we have mentioned previously. Examples. Hello, Mirhan. Good afternoon. How are you today? Hi. Uh, can you hear me clearly, Mirha? Okay. So, is the, the voice like loud or what do you think of it? Is it okay? Okay. Uh, Mirha, today we are uh, discussing the tag questions. This is a grammar lesson. Okay. Uh, uh, here are uh, some examples for tag questioning. Affirmative sentence, negative tag. When we have an affirmative statement or sentence, then we have to get like a negative tag. For example, 
Your name is Ali Khalid, isn't it? Here, the, the, the sentence was affirmative. The tag must be negative. So when I ask you, for example, your name uh, uh, is, is Ali Khalid, then you say, isn't it? You were born in Abha, weren't you? You were born in Abha, weren't you? You live in Dammam, don't you? You live in Dammam, don't you? We'll come back. You studied in Dharan, didn't you? You have graduated, haven't you? No, it's okay, no worries. You are going to work in Riyadh, aren't you? Now, uh, uh, in this tag questioning, when we have affirmative sentence, then we have to get a negative tag for it. And it depends on the pronoun we are using. For example, when I ask you, for example, Mirhan, uh, your name is uh, Mirhan, isn't it? How would you answer? Yes, it is. Good job. Okay. What about if I ask uh, you, uh, uh, her name is Amal, isn't it? What would you answer here? Yes, she is. No, she is not. Okay. Now, let me tell you something, Mirhan, about this. Do you know when do, when can we use the tag questioning? I will tell you. When I say, for example, when I say, your name is Mirhan, okay? Then, it means that I know that your name is Mirhan. But I just want to make sure. Did you understand me? Your name is Mirhan. I know that. But I ask, isn't it? Just to make sure. So when you know the information, you just say the information you know and then give the tag questioning. Is that okay? Okay, let's, let's ask about a fact, for example. The capital of Saudi Arabia, the capital city of Saudi Arabia is Riyadh. I know this information, but just to make sure, I ask, isn't it? Okay, good job. So let's move on to the next slide. <clears throat> okay. This also apply to the negative sentence with affirmative tag. So, Maryam isn't American, is she? It means that I know that Maryam isn't American, but I'm asking just to make sure. And if I want to make sure about a, a sentence or a statement, then I just add a tag question. She wasn't born in the United States, was she? Same thing here. I know that she wasn't born there, but I just want to make sure. She doesn't speak English, does she? She didn't work in a school, did she? She hasn't lived in the United States, has she? She isn't going to move here. Is she? Note. To agree with negative tags, answer yes. To agree with negative tags, answer yes. For example, you are from Riyadh, aren't you? Yes, I am. 
To agree with affirmative tags, answer no. So when you have like uh, a, a negative tag isn't, uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, aren't, then we use the answer yes. But if we have like uh, to agree with affirmative tags, we answer with no. For example, you aren't from Riyadh. Are you? No, I'm not. I'm from Jeddah, for example. So we use, we answer yes with negative tags, with negative questions. We answer with no with affirmative tags, affirmative questions, positive questions. Questions. Check information. Complete the tag questions. Now, uh, 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 we have like a uh, formatting problem here. So no problem, I think it's very clear. These toys are in good condition. What is the tag question here, Mirhan? Do you know? These toys are in good condition. Welcome, Hatan. Aren't they? You think so? These toys are in good condition. Aren't they? Wa alaykum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, Hatan? So, how is your weekend so far? So far, so good? Did you have fun? Did you do something useful? Okay, sounds great. I'm really happy for that. But uh, just to make sure, had time. The weekend, okay. Double E. Just for your information. Hatan, by the way, we are uh, discussing uh, the tag questioning today. Uh, Merhan answered the first question here. You have to add a tag question. There is a, a problem with the formatting here. So, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. These toys are in good condition. Uh, Merhan answered, uh, aren't they? So what do you think of the second one? You have had garage sales before. So what do you think of the answer here? You've had great garage sales before. What do you think? Hello, are you still there? Okay. Uh, no problem. Uh, who can answer? Yep, of course, Mirhan. Go ahead. You have had garage sales before. Haven't you? Hmm. Good job. Haven't you? Mirhan, why uh, no voice? Mirhan, can you hear me? Okay, just a moment. Try to log out then. Okay. Uh, Merhan, I have a question for you here. Uh, why did you say, haven't you? Uh, uh, can we say, didn't you, for example? You have had garage sales before. Didn't you? You said, haven't you? And I know your answer is correct. But why didn't you say, didn't you? Yeah. 
Very good. Very good. Because it, it was mentioned. It was mentioned in the sentence itself. Good job for you, mashallah, tabarakallah. I agree with you. And this tense here is the present perfect. Very good, mashallah, tabarakallah. Okay. What about this, Mirhan? He didn't buy that fan. He didn't buy that fan. Did he? Good job, mashallah, tabarakallah. They weren't able to sell the tools. What do you think? Did okay. Were they? They weren't able to sell the tools. Were they? Good job, mashallah tabarakallah Mirhan. Such a genius student, mashallah tabarakallah. Allahumma Muhammad. Hattan, uh, uh, can you hear me now? Okay, good job. Good for you. So here are the answers. These toys are in good condition, aren't they? You've had garage sales before, haven't you? He didn't buy that fan, did he? They weren't able to sell the tools, were they? MashaAllah, tabarakallah, very good. Mirhan, you nailed all of them. So here are some stars for you. All of them are for you. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job. MashaAllah tabarakallah. And 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 you know what? I'm gonna give you the axis. Okay. Uh can you see my pointer here? Just go to the smiley face. Hit the smiley face over here and draw some smileys for yourself. Good job. I'm, I'm just rewarding you for the answers. Good job. MashaAllah, tabarakallah. Okay. So, let's move uh, to the next page. The next slide, I mean. Okay. Check information. Complete the tag questions in the following. Okay. This is number five as well. She found a set of nice crystal glasses. Who can answer? She found in the past a set of nice crystal glasses. Didn't she? Good job. Good job. Good job. Didn't she? So what do you think had done of the next one? That vacuum cleaner works okay. That vacuum cleaner works okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Of course you can. Go ahead, Merhan, please, if you don't mind. Okay, doesn't it? That vacuum cleaner works okay. Hatam, uh, uh, let me explain this for you. Uh, with tag questioning, Hatam, uh, uh, when we give like an affirmative statement or sentence, for example, she found, <coughs> sorry, she found a set of nice crystal glasses. Hatam, is this affirmative or negative? Positive or negative? What do you think, Hattan? She found a set of nice crystal glasses. This sentence, is it affirmative or negative? Affirmative. Okay, good job. Affirmative. Yes, it is. So, the question must be negative. When we have an affirmative sentence, then the tagging or the tag questioning for this sentence must be negative. <coughs> when we have a negative statement or sentence, then the tagging or the, 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 the tag question must be affirmative. 
So here, for example, Mirhan uh, uh, answered this. She said she found a set of nice crystal glasses. Didn't she? Because it is in the past simple. She found. Did she found? So didn't she? And we use didn't in the negative because the statement or the sentence was affirmative. Okay, let's move on to the uh, to number seven. We have lots of bargains here today. Who can answer this? We have lots of bargains here today. Haven't we? Good job, mashallah, Hattan. Here we go. You're on track. We'll come back on track, man. Okay, so what about number eight? This lawn mower is really high tech. You have to decide first if this is an affirmative or negative sentence and then you determine or you decide okay isn't it so you have both answered this question correctly mashallah tabarakallah good job okay so uh, do you know the loan more what is it is this a loan more okay use your use your pointers Okay, get your pointer over here, the second choice. Go over here. I want to see your pointers, guys. Go over here to the second choice on the left. Can you see my pointer? Okay, good job, Hattan. I can see your pointer now. What about you, Mirhan? Use your pointer. Second choice. Number two. One, two. I can't see your pointer, Mirhan. Your pointer. The second choice. I want to see your pointer. Can you see Hattan's pointer? No, no, no. No, you have chosen the, the, the third one. I want you to choose the second one. I, I know that you have answered, but I want to see. Okay, good job. Good job. Thank you for you. Okay. Uh, so where is where is where is the lawn mower, guys? Okay. Good job. So it's easier than than drawing like whatever. Okay. I'm gonna uh, uh, give you access to the tools. Okay. No problem. I'm gonna give you access all the time for the tools, so you can reward yourself for smileys when you answer. Okay. So here are the answers. She found a set of nice crystal glasses, didn't she? That vacuum cleaner works okay, doesn't it? We have lots of bargains here today, don't we? This lawnmower is really high tech, isn't it? So, good job guys, mashallah, you have answered all of them correctly. And here are some smileys. Hey guys, feel free to grab smileys for yourself. So, here are claps, for example, for you. You have answered that correctly. Good job. Feel free to grab any of them, by the way. Okay, so let's move on. Negative questions. We sometimes use negative questions to check information or to express surprise. So for two cases. Check information, as I have mentioned, Merhan, to make sure. Or to express surprise, that you are surprised. Okay. <clears throat> Example. Isn't he tired of working there? Isn't he tired of working there? Aren't you coming with us? Haven't you finished your homework yet? It is like a surprise, okay? So we use it for both. Check information or express surprise. 
Haven't you finished your homework yet? I'm surprised because you, you, because you have started uh, 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 doing your homework uh, since the morning. Okay. Don't you live near the beach? Now, um, I, I know that uh, uh, you live uh, uh, near the beach, but I just don't want to make sure, okay? Mm -hmm. So, next, negative questions. Quick check. Write negative questions for the following situations. This is critical. I want you to answer, okay? Example. You just bought a new cell phone. Your friend is still deciding about whether to buy one. Aren't you going to buy one too? You know, one too, not, okay. Hatan, one too is not like in football, okay? So, one two. Okay. You know you know what I mean, Hatta, right? You know what I mean, Mirhan? Why one two? It's not one two the number, it's two as well. So <clears throat> you just bought a, a new cell phone. Your friend is still deciding about whether to buy one. So in this situation you are going to ask your friend, Aren't you going to buy one two? Write negative questions for the following situations. You recognize an old friend at the mall. The friend doesn't recognize you. So, what is the question here? What do you think, guys? Negative question. No problem, guys. I, I want you to make mistakes. No problem. Just try. Can't you remember me? Can't you remember me? Good job, mashallah, Mirhan. Perfect. Actually, it is perfect. So, what about don't, Mirhan? Don't you remember me? Can't you remember me? Is it okay to say don't? Mm-hmm. Good job. Welcome, Iman. It's okay. Wait, Marhan, never say sorry. Your answer is perfect. Your answer is correct. Your answer is the best answer. So, it's just like uh, having uh, an alternative. Okay, what about this, number two? Your friend is eating popcorn and is not offering any. So it means that, uh, for example, you are watching a movie with your friend and he is or she is eating popcorn and is not giving you any, is not offering you. So, aren't you gonna offer me some? Good job, mashallah, good job. Nice answer, actually beautiful answer, mashallah, tabarakallah. Okay, you are playing a board game. You want your friend to play the game too. So what would you ask him? What What is the question? Oh, Iman left. So what would be the uh, uh, question here? Okay, don't you want to play with me? Don't you play with me? Okay. Okay. Good job. Good job, guys. Hey, guys, you're both wonderful, mashallah. Okay, <clears throat> so this is the first uh, uh, a situation. Don't you remember me? Can't you remember me? Can't is okay as well. Don't worry about that, Aran, okay? <clears throat> Aren't you going to offer me some popcorn? Aren't you going to? Going to something in the future. Aren't you going to offer me some popcorn? And yes, you have answered this correctly. I accept it, by the way. 
Okay, uh, the last one is, don't you want to play this game too? Don't you want? Don't you want to play with me? This game? So this game is like an addition. I we can we can yeah we can just say play as you have mentioned Mirhan and Hattan. This game yes I mean this game not that game. You know what I mean. Write negative questions for the following situation. Someone can uh, uh, someone came and joined your group, greeted everyone, but forgot you. So what do you think of this? Negative question. Aren't you gonna greet me? Hmm. Good job. Don't you love me? <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Don't you greet me? Don't you greet me? Aren't you going to greet me? Something in the future. Don't you greet me? Mm hmm. Okay, we, we're gonna check this. <clears throat> no problem, Hatta. It's okay. Classes start at 8 o'clock. It's 8.30 and your brother is still in bed. So what do you think? <clears throat> Classes start at 8 o'clock. It's 8.30 and your brother is still in bed. Aren't you gonna come to class? To the class? Aren't you going to school? Aren't you going to come to the class? Aren't you gonna come to the class? Okay, no problem. It's acceptable. <clears throat> Won't you come to the class? Please do, for the sake of Allah. <clears throat> okay. Someone you don't know left a message on your cell phone. Your friend asks if you called back. What does the friend say? It's a difficult situation, right? Okay, no problem. We're gonna check this in the next slide because we don't have time. Didn't you call back? Didn't you call? Done. When we say did, the next verb must be present. Simple. We can't use past with didn't or did. Okay. Won't you call him back? Won't you call? Okay, Mirhan, how did you know that he is a, 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 a male? Won't you call her back, maybe? So, won't you call back? Okay, so let's check the answers in the next line. I'm just wondering. It's okay, I'm just wondering, okay? I just want you to uh, think critically. Okay, so, don't you want to say hello to me? Didn't you see me? Don't you love me? Good job. So, aren't you going to school? Aren't you going to school? So, aren't you going to call the person back? Okay, so good job. Yes, guys, you have done a great job. Okay, next slide. Be able to, we use be able to, to express ability and talk about things you can or can't do. How won't be able to play, uh, he won't be able to play basketball today because he hurt his hand. Hurt in the past or in the present? What do you think, guys? Present or past? Past or present? Present or past? Because he hurt. Because he hurt past 
Yes, of course, past, Marhan. Because if it is present, then we will add S to the end of the verb. You got it? Mm -hmm. Good. I wasn't able to come to the park because I had a previous appointment. Will you be able to go out with us tomorrow? I don't think so. I'll be busy. Okay. Write down some facts about your friend that you think are correct. Your friend was born in the mom. He was born in the mom, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Ask and answer questions about the picture. Example, was Ahmed able to fix the car? No, he wasn't. I think he is confused. Yeah, I can see. Right. I don't know, but uh, I think he, he doesn't need his car. Ask and answer questions about the pictures. Hamid, number one. The players, number two. What do you think? Hamid. Hamid. Okay. Has Hamid able to ride his horse? Yes, he was. Yes, he was so clever. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah, Mirhan. I admire your proficiency. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. Such a good student. MashaAllah, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. But, uh, 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 do you think that was Hamid able to ride his horse? Was Hamid able to ride his horse? Okay, no problem. I said, mashallah, tabarakallah, very good job. Good job. Was Hamid able to ride his horse? Okay. And what about the players? Hatan, are you there? Hello, Hatan. Seems like Hatan is not here. Anyway, so yes, you have answered the first one. So next uh, slide, we can check answers. Okay. Were the players uh, able to play tennis? No, they weren't. It was raining. It is raining. Okay. No problem. So let's check this. Ask and answer us. Adnan and Majida. Majida, sorry, Majida. Majida. Okay. Was Adnan able to drive his car? Yes, he was. Majida. Majida. And look at the expression of her face. Let's give her another one, you know. What do you think? Okay. Was Majida able to bake the cake? No, she wasn't. And here is her, her brother, maybe. Okay. I think it's enough. Let's check the answers. Was Hamid able to ride the horse? Yes, he was. Were the players able to play tennis? No, they weren't. Was Adnan able to drive the car? Yes, he was. Now, let's check with Majida. Majida. Was Majida able to bake the cake? No, she wasn't. Okay, were the children able to get good grades? Yes, they were. Were the football fans able to get the tickets or to get tickets? No, they weren't. Atan will come back. It seems that, uh, hello. My name is Hatan as well. Are you there? Okay. 
thank you uh, for participating guys uh, uh, you were uh, wonderful as usual uh, okay so here are the references for uh, this lesson and here is the last page uh, okay let's do the questionnaire again oh no problem my job okay so guys uh, i want you to do this survey did you like the lesson yes or no thank you so much thank you so much okay guys uh, yeah there are three lessons today this is the first one we are going to have the other one inshallah in uh, 18 or 17 minutes at 6 and at 7 at 6 we are going to have a full blast and then at 7 inshallah we are going to have uh, the revision which is like a combination of the two textbooks uh, I encourage you to go ahead and uh, book these classes and I want to see you here at both 7 and 6 until then have a good time See you guys.